Hello there, my name is Andriana and uh, today is a beautiful day for creating something uh, in my art journal. This is actually the third art journal which I will start. I'm almost finished with the second one and uh, I will start this art journal page in random uh, page because uh, the experience told me that in those two which I made uh, before, when you come to the end, it's so bumped with uh, all the mixed media I put in, so it's very difficult to create anything. I will not start at the exact end, but like I told you, I will do it in some random places which I, which whatever I feel so. Uh, this art journal page will be uh, is actually inspired by Paper Artsy uh, stencil challenge. Uh, I adore stencils. I have I think 100 of them and I also uh, still think that I don't have enough. So uh, uh, I actually have some Paper Artsy stencils. Not much but I have some. Some of them from are from Lynn Brown and some of them are from Yofi. Uh, I really like them but most of the time, not only stencil, uh, they have really really expensive stamps even though I really love them. <laughs> I have this uh, Paper Artsis uh, stamp. This is actually not uh, so expensive because it's not mounted but in my art journal I don't mind. I can use it as it is. Um, this is actually called uh, Kling Stamp Wards 2 and I really like because they remind me of some old uh, typo uh, when you use the machines to uh, make some text. So I will use those also and regarding the paints I will use my Diane uh, Reevely's paints and probably some of the paints from um, uh, from uh, Dina Wakely. So I will start now and speed it up and catch you guys, of course, at the end. there. Uh, since uh, my battery died, I needed to recharge it. And in the meanwhile, I did uh, some coverage of this yellow uh, texture paste and this side and this side with this turquoise, uh, vibrant turquoise dilutions paint. Uh, paint. And uh, I used some of the stencils from Paper Artsy and made all these flowers with heavy gesso from the marketing from Finneberg collection. So now I will try to make something with these flowers and these stems and these flowers and I'll spit it up.
it. My art journal page, which I call Freaky Funky, <laughs> is done. It is so inspired by, by the stencils and the possibilities you can do with your background with them. Uh, I used at the end this... Um, this is from Stampers Anonymous uh, stencil, which is called Funky Words. And as soon as I read this <laughs> name of this stencil, I thought about funky page, but then I know that it, this may sound weird, but I painted and painted those flowers so many times that I uh, 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 said to myself, oh, what a freaky job was that for me, because it's frustrating when you want to create something and you cannot um, have all this shading, you know, done, because... I'm not an artist, so and I know that I did not go to school. I just picked up something from the the uh, YouTube and see what other people do and how do they create something. I tried to outlining it with the black pen, then I did not like it. Then with white pen, then I also did not like it. So I just leave it as it is. Uh, the only thing that I will do now is stamp the date because this is a random page in my new Dan Rivlis art journal page and uh, I really hope that I will finish the, the second art journal. Uh, I called it volume 1 and 2. This is the third one and be able to show you also guys something from there to because I like to end something and have a closure. So guys, this is it. My art journal page is done. Hope you like the process and catch you guys at, uh, next time. <laughs> I will catch you guys next time. Bye!